My name is Nathan. It's my last birthday. Don't take me in the face. No, 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 I know you all want to, but please, for me today, please don't. Scary stuff. Does that scare you? Yeah, it scares me. There you are. Here I am. Don't. What? Ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, man. I know it's been tough. I haven't exactly been much help. Hey, man. No one expects you to. Where's Adele? Um. She didn't think she could handle it. You know. Yeah, no, I get it. Marry her. Trust me. That's it. You're natural now. Get it back there, though. Let me do it. No way. You've got Ethan. You can get away. I want to do it. No. Come on, man. No. Let me do it. No. I love you, Jack. <laughs> You don't know about the cake? Sorry. <laughs> Fucker. We had to, man. Come on, let's go get a drink. All right. I was like, that's what I should do. As you do. My, my thing. My thing is like, yeah, it's I'm glad I got to see all these photos of you with your shirt on. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, Ethan has something that he would like to say for Nathan. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's my father's birthday. It's usually a happy day, but today it isn't. Today is different. Today he's leaving, and that makes me really sad. But I know he's doing it for all of us. I know that he's strong and that he's brave and he wants to stay, but he can't. And I want him to know how proud I am of him. I want him to know that I'm not, I'm proud of being his son. And I want him to know that I will not throw away anything he's given me. I will not throw away the chance he's given me, the future. 
I will be a future you are to me. I'm sorry I never called you back. No, I get it. I wasn't sure if I was going to come or not, and it's just... <laughs> Yeah, no. I know. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. Do you know what I think about when I think about you? Kissing me. And then, like having that summer by the lake. I'm sorry, Kat. And I'm so sorry for everything. It was a long time ago. I still don't forgive you. <laughs> well, I guess I have to live with that. <laughs> Not for much longer. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I got married. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, good for you, Kat. Is he nice? Yes. You would like him. Mm, I doubt that. Are you thinking of kids? I don't know yet. You should. I should have married you. Yeah. And I should have done a lot of things. I tried. No, Nathan, you didn't. Yeah. Why is it so much fucking time? And now it's gone. I always thought I was going to do all these things. And I ended up doing nothing. You have Ethan. I can't even look him in the eye anymore. Why? I'm scared, Kat. I'm so fucking scared. I wish I had more time. This waste is much fucking This is the thing you have to do. It's breaking my heart, but you have to.
Congratulations. It's your 40th birthday. Welcome to the Seed Initiative. We sincerely thank you for complying with the population code. Your sacrifice ensures that future generations have access to the same peaceful and sustainable world you were afforded by those before you. We understand how difficult this day can be for you and your family. But rest assured, once you've seeded, they will receive the full support of our agency. We will take care of them as if they were our own. They will not be forgotten. You're scared right now. I know what you're thinking. Everyone does. But remember, balance will be maintained one way or another. Be honorable. Be brave. There's nothing to be afraid of. Simply put this in your mouth and take one breath. What could be simpler? One breath and you save everyone you love. One breath and you give them a future. One breath and you plant your seed. Jane, thank you so much for your patience. Oh, of course. I'm Dr. Jack Benton. I work with Dr. Stevens, and I'll be doing your final paperwork today. Full disclosure, there's a lot. <laughs> I assumed. First, there'll be the risk analysis profile, and this stack here, and then this batch here. Everything okay? Yeah. I know, there's a lot. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. <laughs> you, she left me, okay? We hear this lady screaming at the top of her lungs. I was just trying to get my ass back to work. She like runs off, okay? And then I turn around and out of nowhere, I'm freaking out because this woman just comes up to me and asks me, can I watch her baby? Like, first of all, where is your stroller? <laughs> can you watch my baby? I mean, doesn't even wait for me to respond or anything. She just hands me her actual baby and runs after the guy. Hold on, did you actually see the guy that took her no, walk? No, absolutely not. I mean, me and Jane were just coming back from our lunch break. Okay, and that's I was just trying. That's actually true. Yes, it's actually true. Yes, that's the one. You weren't even there. Okay, okay. I'm just watching this newborn like out of nowhere. That is so scary. I don't know how anybody raises kids in the city. I mean, look. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Yeah. What did you think she wanted you to do? Breastfeed it? Change its diaper? Tickle it? My girls. I'm so happy you're both here. Me too. <clears throat> Where's uh, Kurt? He's with the boys. You'll see him tomorrow. Word around oh. town is that Dad has himself a lady friend. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't uh -huh. actually confirm anything because he won't tell me anything, oh. but... Is she hot? Or? Oh, very classy <laughs> ladies I've raised. Now, does it matter if she's oh, hot? Oh, see, see, you admit it. There's a she. It's Lady Jane. When you moved to this block, it changed my life. I got a best friend. Yeah, but she's my best friend. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is my toast. <laughs> Plus, I've known her way longer. <laughs> Any surgical team is lucky to have you. Even if that means you're off somewhere doctoring without borders and fighting off uh, 
you know, the diseases and the mosquitoes and the, the glaciers. This or the, is where the... I take over this toast and simply say, Janie, oh, she hates this so much. Safe travels. Come back soon. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Do you okay in here? Um, mostly. Although I, I was told that I had the option of an anonymity contract, if I so chose. Yes. Yes, that is an option. You do know, though, there'll be no method of contact. Perfect. Jane, you're lying because you, you could never hold your liquor. She jumped on this guy's back, okay, and he's spinning her around, and I'm so it and... This had better be an emergency because I told you to only call me in emergencies. What is it? It's work. You need to get it together. Put on your big girl pain. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm. You've been quiet. Yeah. So this job, is there like a visitor situation? Or? No, it's not like that. Hmm. What? What? What was that? Hmm. Hmm. It's just a noise. People do it all the time, make noises. Everything that you do means something. I think that I've at least figured that out about you. I don't know. What? Say it, Jesus. Stay. <laughs> okay. I'm serious. Stay. Why? Because. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. No. No, what? I don't know. Don't tell me. What? Don't tell me this is like... Is this like a confession of, like, Con your love, or? My, my <laughs> I don't love? know. Jesus Christ. I, I told I... you I loved you once, in the third grade. Fair. And you can't let it go, you just keep thinking about <laughs> no, it. No, I'm letting it. You know, I thought I was Spider-Man in the third grade. You I did. thought I was actually Spider-Man. It was yeah. so weird. It was fun. <laughs> I didn't stop a lot of bad guys. I ate actual worms until the fourth grade. Oh, I did a lot of things in elementary school that I, I don't do now. <laughs> what? I'm proud of all of it. And I'm with Sarah now, also, so. Right. Yeah. You were, you were just making this face. <laughs> what face? <laughs> I don't know. Like this love face or A something? love face? Yeah. What? Okay. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I know. It's just, just, uh, oh, erase. <laughs> I just can't imagine you not being a drive away, or even a phone call away. I, uh, I like count on you. I like no. It's fine. You'll be fine. I, I don't care, okay? Only call me if you die, okay? Bye. Goodbye. Should I? Yeah, you should to stay, yeah. Hey. You need something?
Get in your own party. Something like that. I can go if you want. No, you're fine. Do you like living with Dad? Yeah, it's fine. You know you don't have to. I know. No, I'm just, I'm saying that that you can do whatever you want, you know? Like whatever, whatever makes you happy. I just want you, oh, I want you to be able to be yourself. Whatever that is. How's that working out for you? You are such a dick. Seriously, how's your life? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like I I love you and I don't know you and I'm I'm just trying to understand <laughs> you and my... uh, relax. Things are fine. I mean, school sucks. Community college is lame. Shocker. Mostly I just go to work and hang out with my friends. I don't know. I don't really have a lot to say. Okay. Cool. I'm not you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good here. I don't need to go do some crazy shit. Do you mind if I sit here for a while? Knock yourself out. been more than two hours of dotting and signing and apologies a bit unnecessary it was fine. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you in person actually I read your application letter in the yellow and blue of our days it was for my mom's favorite song honestly your work on biomedical nanotechnology it's such a huge achievement and the innovative way you use that in each round of the selection process Having your level of expertise on board, it's, it's really, it's all the team can talk about. You fit right in, Jane. I don't know how to say thank you. <laughs> you just say it. <laughs> thank you. Bourbon? Hmm. Your friends leave? I think so. <laughs> How's the old arm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you think mom is doing, like right now? Probably <laughs> riding a gold-plated bike in circles through yeah. purgatory, pissing everyone off. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the mad woman cackling maniacally, singing at the top of her lungs. I was a victim of a series of accidents, as, as are we all. all. I miss her. I should say that more. She'd understand. Understand what? Whatever's going on with you. Dad, I'm fine. Jane. I just want to know you're okay. No one's really okay. Janie. 
This is the best find that I'm gonna be. Okay? Deal with it. Okay. You're my kid. <laughs> Let me worry about you for Christ's sake. And no. Worry about Bobby. I think his shirts are too tight. <laughs> I'm serious. I think they're cutting off the circulation to his brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll hijack his laundry. It's not like he's going to do it. Just burn them. <laughs> you did everything you could for us. Like, always. I don't know about that. You did. Okay. Just know that. I think it is. I have the uh, contract here, and I'm going to go over each section so that you know what you're opting for. So what? You're just going to call us up one day and say you're leaving for some obscure job for God knows how long? Do us the, I don't know, courtesy of coming home for a day just to leave a fucking note and vanish at the crack of dawn? Alice. Please don't do this. Me. Me don't do yes. this. Yes. Jane, this is you. This is all you. It's what you do. You walk in and out of our lives like we're not supposed to love you or care if you're here or care if you're not, but we do. Get it through your fucking head. I can't do this. I can't. Can't what? I can't. I can't breathe. I wish <laughs> that I knew how to help you. You can't. Why? I think I'm out of reach. <laughs> Am I going to see you again? Here we have section one, that's full anonymity. That means that apart from us and your government, no one will have access to your involvement in the project. Option two, anonymity until departure. That means any press coverage, any media that's released within the next year until you depart, your identity will be withheld. And then option three, that's anonymity until arrival or complication. I'm guessing that's what you would I'm, choose. I'm sorry, you're, you're guessing. Yes, I am. And I shouldn't speculate. It's just that you're the first person I've ever had use this particular contract. Right. What, what I was going to say is that 
I'm guessing this is the option someone would use if they did want to relay status to family and next of kin when you've reached some sort of finality. I'll let you make your decision and step out. Oh, I'm fine. Fantastic. We are done. Finally. I would like to officially welcome you aboard. Congratulations, Jane. You are the newest member of the Mars One astronaut program. How does it feel to be an actual pioneer? It's, um... What the hell, man? I'm trying to get you. Do you see what's going on down here? And they don't even know what's really coming. You gotta take me with you. Just go to a shelter. Like everybody else. Come on, Doug. Don't play me. What are you talking about? I know where you're going. Sarah told me about your secret. Then you know I can't help you. Are you kidding me? Sarah. We can't leave him behind. Do this to me, Doug. But you just, for once, I'm your brother! Good luck. What are you doing? Imagine a in five minutes. You want to survive, you're gonna have to make some hard... The signs were everywhere. Hunger, pollution, 
epidemics. After a century of reckless consumption, civilization was about to collapse under its own weight. Still, I had faith humanity would finally work together, hand in hand to overcome the greed and selfishness that was tearing us apart. But in the end, those in power chose a different path. The same they always had. War. And when it was over, all we had left was... each other. For over a year now, we've been heading to a survivor colony out west. But it's still a long way to go. Are you okay? Mystery meal. Well, I know this journey's been longer than some bitch, but today is actually an auspicious occasion. One thousand miles, halfway point. Voila! <laughs> Where did you get a cake? Wow! Actually, Gus here did. He thought it'd be a, a good way to cheer y'all up. Gus? Is, is that a heartbeat I'm hearing? <laughs> now, before we dig in, 
thought thought it'd be good to have a couple of words. Claire. <laughs> Why don't you say something? Oh, come on. Come on now. Oh, come on. <laughs> to do is just keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's it. And with the little help of our <laughs> North Star here, I have hope that we'll find our way to the colony. We're gonna find our way. To help. <laughs> to help. <laughs> Singing Kumbaya is going to make a difference? Did anybody actually look what's out there? Hey, we're in here celebrating. I just, just have some cake. What? Are we celebrating? What, that we're stranded in the middle of fucking nowhere with, with, with all our food buried under 50 feet of sand? I mean, tell me, Henry, what's on the menu once the cake is gone? Warren, I know you've been through it. And I know getting to the colony seems oh. like an impossibility, but it is completely viable that we will make it there. Oh, right. The colony. Well, we'll just sit back, have a few cocktails, and enjoy the sunset. Because in a thousand miles, things are gonna get so much better. All right, everybody. Huh? Let's put it together for Warren, man of the year. <laughs> you think this is a joke, don't you? No. I think you're an inspiration <laughs> to all of God us. Damn joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You all want to know what the real joke is? Huh? Warren, this oh, is the joke. We've been following this piece of shit for way too long! Put it down. Oh, yeah. And who made you the law here anyway, huh? What, just because you used to run a fucking goddamn prison in some pathetic little shithole? Big deal! You're nothing but a pathetic little piece of... Okay, all right, all right. All right, whoa, Warren, stop! Oh, stop!
hello there. How did a girl like you end up in a place like this? Please enter your authorization code. I see. Way hard to get. So what now? Time to use my irresistible charm. Whoa. So, we're just gonna break in? We don't even know what's in there. We know what's out there. That better? Yes, and... Oh, shit! Authorization code denied. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just decrypting a multi-binary quantum algorithm with the stochastic matrix protocol. Welcome to the Phoenix Personal Rescue System. Your first choice in post-nuclear survival. In the event of a global war, our system is designed to safely fly you to our state-of-the-art lunar facility, where a team of world-renowned physicians will prep you for long-term hibernation. civilization that will take humanity to new heights. We offer luxury packages of all the main climate zones. And thanks to our advanced settlement technology, you will enjoy all the comforts you are accustomed to in a vibrant community full of life and hope.
too? No, but... Fuck me. Thank you again for choosing the Phoenix Rescue System. And remember, a better future is waiting for you.
I don't know how you worked before, but you're gonna have to trust me at some point. And I don't know how many times I have to tell you, Mac. I'm better off working alone, so get used to it. Or don't. Just try to keep up. Don't you think the lone wolf thing is a little cliche? All I need from you is info about the bounty. The rest you can keep for yourself. I'm surprised you even know what cliche means. With the information comes my suggestions. Take it or leave it. Are you giving me a choice? Because if that's the case, then I'm... You're what? Hello, McFly. You still there? I believe in ghosts. Ghosts? Oh. Wait, are you... Are you stoned right now? Forget it. I just hate this place. Jaden, I got some news about a fella. He's been spotted next to the lift-up building on River and Maiden Street. Check your GPS. I don't need a GPS. I'll figure it out. You're right. I'm sure you'll do just fine. And apparently that's not the only thing you forgot. I didn't forget anything. I just don't need any more blood on my hands. <laughs> What? Damn it, Mac. What, were you taking a shit? Sort of. Enjoying the fresh air? Huh, not very fresh. You'd know that if you ever left the fucking cockpit. Oh, did you forget to tell me that there'd be fog out here? What the fuck are you talking about? It's the biggest tower in your sector, so all you have to do is look up. Look up. Did you hear me? Fog. You do know what fog is, right? And that's why there's a GPS? If I was you, I'd be a little bit more prepared. Prepared against the fog? I'm just saying. I told your ass to take the GPS. Are you going to help me or not? Hold on. Mac, I got something you might find interesting. What is it? Dr. Jay Connors, physician and cosmetic surgeon, was found dead in his office this morning. He developed a new prototype device that can give a person the ability of face shifting. Face shifting? Yeah. It's exactly how it sounds. You can literally change faces. Maybe your wife could use it. Aha, very funny, asshole. As a primer was Connor's last patient, which makes him our prime suspect. It's possible he could look like this now. Here's a picture of the doc. That's not all. Does more? The prototype device is missing. So, at this point, he could look like anyone. OK, thanks for the information. Got to call you back. All right. Jaden, did you catch that? If the UP put it all over the news, then all bounty hunters must be after him. And this place is crawling with him. What a waste of time. At least we got the advantage. We know he can shit faces. I mean shit faces. I mean shit faces. Shit Damn it. face? Are you currently shit faced? I said face shit. I mean, I meant face shit. Man, you really have a drinking problem. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Let's focus on putting our hands on primer. I got a visual on the main streets, so you cover the little ones. All right.
company. What's your location? All right, I'm here. What? What the fuck took you so long to respond? Relax, Mac. Hey, I see you standing there. Move it. Don't tell me you're already getting tired of doing nothing. I beg your pardon? I do as much work as you, and I've handled everything since you arrived. Everything? You call passing phone calls working? I call it being a glorified receptionist. You are more organized than I am. I'll give you that. Hey, there's another receptionist quality. Enough! We need to be more productive. Let's get back to work. What do we have here? Help me. Don't touch him. Gotcha. You're making a mistake. I'm a doctor. Shut up. Who knows if you would have caught him if I didn't step in. Mind your own business. This doesn't concern you. I said back off. He's mine. Why don't we ask him who he'd rather go with? You think you're funny? You just bumped into us. You have no idea who he is. Isaac Primer, 10 million flus. Does that sound about right? I don't right? care. I've been on this guy for months. Those flus are mine. Listen, man. If you don't want to do this, why don't we just split the commission and go get some tacos or something? Tacos? Sure. Count on it. Look, pal, I don't have all day. This is your last chance. What? You want to play tough? Actually, I was trying to be nice, but sure. Let's see what you got. Thank you very much, Captain Obvious. Take this one, I'll go around. Whoa, I feel like I'm getting the short end of the stick here. Where do you think you're going? Let's dispose of these idiots and get the doctor before we lose it. You make it sound so easy. Show yourself. Oh. 
Is that all you got? I thought you were dead. So where'd he go? Let's try that again. Now where the fuck did he go? I think he went that way. You think he went that way? Did I stutter? I swear to God, if you're lying, huh? He's getting away. You look like you're losing it, kid. You can stay here if you want. But when I come back, you ain't getting nothing. Go get him before I change my mind. Mac. What? Trace my handcuff. Isaac's hiding in... Jaden, what was that? Gunfire. Somewhere in the building. Did you find my handcuff yet? I'm working on it, but in the meantime, chase the gunfire. There's another bounty hunter after. Bring him to the punch. Just trace my fucking handcuff. You're not gonna like this. It looks like the handcuff's untraceable. Or maybe you're just getting too old for this. Cut the shit, Jade. I'm serious. I think it's been unlocked or broken or something. Uh, just because you can't find it doesn't mean it's not traceable. Nah, I don't like this. Yo, stay right there. I'm coming to you. What the fuck is going on? Hey, give me a second and I'll find no, out. just wait. Jaden! God damn it! Jaden. Jaden, are you okay? Blink if you understand me. How do you feel? Oh, oh, I got you. About as good as I look, I'm sure. Did he get away? Yeah, he got away. With, with my face. Yeah. <laughs> 